Hello, this is Professor Stephen Nesheba, and I want to tell you a little bit about um, this molecule, uh, ethene. You can see it's carbon-carbon with a double bond. And the first thing I just want to show you is uh, that um, it's, it's uh, configured this way when it has hydrogens on it, but when we add a um, couple of methyl groups, this carbon and this carbon, sp3s, uh, onto the ends, then um, the, it can be configured in this what we call the trans configuration and it can also be configured in this cis configuration. So we have trans and cis which are just uh, sort of the orientation of these extra groups off uh, the carbons that are involved in the in the double bond. Second thing to mention to you is um, is the fact that uh, it's a planar molecule which you can see this way and the reason it's planar is that the um, we have a pair of electrons here in this pi subsystem uh, molecular orbital and it's oriented in a way that um, it enforces that uh, that uh, planarity and that's also true in uh, in the, the other uh, these uh, this trans as you can see here it's a kind of a similar story uh, as as with just the ethene and uh, and it's the same story uh, if we go to the cis um, molecule which I'm just going to pull up like this so in all three cases it's the uh, molecular orbital uh, the uh, pi cis subsystem molecular orbital pair of electrons in in this orbital that enforce the uh, planarity of the molecule and, uh, and it's really, in the end, it's that planarity that causes there to be a stiffness that causes there to be, a, a in this case, a cis or a trans or, uh, or in this case, just the, uh, just the ethane itself.